Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Hypermind Vanilla server. This is going to be a little bit of a shorter video because the intent here is just a little tutorial. We are in a survival context. Let's take a turn around here, bring back my inventory area right there. So you can see that we've got the hearts on, we've got the hunger on, we've got the armor on. Yes, we are fully in survival. So this is unlike most tutorials, but I have done tutorials in survival before and today is no different. So on a live stream recently, we had some interest in how Kondrick and I were gridding out this water to clear it out. Now you could do things to clear out water like building a Moses, which I've done before. You can also just fill in with sand or gravel and fill it in one by one. But what we found is that sponges work a lot better and one of the most efficient means of getting the sponge to clear out the water is grids of squares that are five wide by five long. So you can see that right here and it can get kind of annoying just placing those those columns of sand or gravel by themselves. So instead what we're going to take a look at is an automated way of spreading that gravel. So I've got all the parts that we're going to need here. You're going to need a sticky piston, a slime block, block of redstone, regular piston, two pieces of redstone dust, a furnace, and this can be any block that is immovable by slime blocks. I'm using a furnace because it's easy to craft and it's easy to break down when we need to move this thing. And then you need some sort of solid block of your choice. This is not an aesthetic block by any means. This is just something that you can easily see the redstone dust on top of and transmits a redstone signal. So without further ado, what we need to figure out is where we're going to be spreading this gravel. And I want to continue this line of gravel that way. So our block where we're going to be putting or placing the gravel is going to be right here. So we're going to go off one block to the side and put the sticky piston facing upwards, then come in with the slime block on top of the sticky piston, block a redstone on top of the slime block, and then we'll come back in and get the rest of our items. Now, because I am doing this in survival, I'm keeping my tools and weapons on the hotbar in case we come across anything. So that's why I'm having to switch out. We're going to put our slime block immovable object right there. Again, I'm using a furnace. And then we're going to drop down. Okay, then what we want to do, this is also important, one block back from where we're going to be placing the gravel initially, we're going to take the regular slime or regular piston and put it such that the piston head is facing in the direction we want to be pushing the gravel or sand. That's right, you can use either gravel or sand. They're two gravity blocks in Minecraft. So I'm going to be using gravel because we've got plenty of it. Now on top of the sticky or the regular piston, we're going to place this uh, solid block and then we'll take the redstone dust, put it on top of the furnace, then on top of that solid block and Bob's your uncle, you've got a gravel spreader. Let me just show you real quick a couple of these. And we're close to a guardian farm. That's why we're doing this. We're building a perimeter around it. This is Kondrick and I and help with some fellow hyperminers. But what we're going to do is we're going to place this block of gravel right here. And you notice that this piston fired and those two blocks moved upwards. And then this piston fired. Watch this again real, real quick. OK, you see, so you see that. So what's happening is that this piston is a budded piston. That is, it has been turned into a block update detector. The reason it's doing that is because it is currently in a state where it should be powered and is powered, but it doesn't know that it's powered. This redstone block up here is transmitting by some very weird arcane rules in the Minecraft code that the sticky piston is should be powered. I don't fully know it. It was originally a bug, but it's been left in the game for whatever reason. So uh, what's happening is that as soon as you put a block down beside this sticky piston, it realizes, oh, hey, I'm supposed to be powered. It extends. That pushes the redstone block up, which does two things. The first thing is that it puts a pulse into the redstone dust that's on top of the furnace, which is then carried down to this block right here. This block gets powered which causes this piston to extend. 
Now, at the same time that this redstone block is powering this redstone dust, it is moving out of range to where this piston is no longer powered. The piston realizes, hey, I'm not powered anymore, and it retracts and resets the system. So you can use this to spread out gravel, and it's best if you stand right next to this block right here so that you keep doing that. Sometimes with server tick lag, you get problems, but uh, it's nothing that clearing the area will fit or will not fix. So, so we'll do that. And then what we do is we just keep pressing this over and over, just right click. And for full reference or full admission, I have uh, inventory tweaks on. So when I get to the end of this stack of gravel, I'm going to get another stack automatically or should. So you see that the one column is already done and we should be filling in this other column soon. There we go. And there we go. So what's going to happen is that this piston will push gravel until 12 columns are filled in that direction and then it will not push anymore. And that's when we have to move this whole thing, rinse and repeat, set it up the same, and there you go. So hopefully you've enjoyed this quick little survival tutorial. That's going to be it for now. If you did enjoy, like is always appreciated. And as always, I'm open to your comments, questions, and suggestions. Feel free to leave those in the comment section down below or catch me on Twitter at MCSoapTheGreat. That's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.